And we're back with more Metroid Fusion. So, uh, we're here in the aquatic part. You know, uh, you have water everywhere. But, uh, the thing is, the power's kind of cut here a little. And there are exposed wires underneath the water that are, uh, making the entire water electrified and painful in a hurry. So we gotta... Can't really cut, cut the power, because that would make other things bad, but what we can do is shut off the pumps. So we're gonna go and shut off the pumps to the, to the water sector right now. Is it all the water that's shocky hurdy, or is it just... Oh, I see it. You can see okay. what's... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ow, ow, shocky hurdy, ow. And that, that's, that's definitely, definitely hurdy water. Make no mistake. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but was it like this the first time we came through here? Or did it just happen? Yes, it was. It was? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, a lot of shock hurdy water. Snare at the pump control unit. Can I just make it? And boom! There you go. Now we have a little less of the shocky hurdy water. Oh, look at that sprite stay in place. Bobbing up and down. This just feels like a wrong thing to do. What, lower the water? Drain all the water, though? Where did it all go? Uh, I don't know. Is there a reservoir down below? Are all the X down in there? Just, it's a, it's, it's a big old X parasite soup. Maybe we just flooded the oxygen tank. Oh, oh, great. Well, it's a good thing Samus is uh, part Metro right now. She doesn't need to really breathe so much. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, for our purposes, we're fine. Let me this, guess. Shine spark, go through the wall. This is where the game is testing you on your high speeds. Yep. You're not required to do shine sparking for the game, but you are for do, you are required to do it for 100. percent Oh, really? Yes. I mean, you gotta do high speed, but shine sparking that's that's a thing that uh, you don't have to do to beat the game. If you want to get everything, you do. Is the shine spark good for like other things? Like, can it be used as an attack or? Yeah, yeah, I can. I mean, it's, okay. it's a shine spark, and it just doesn't hurt this time, either. Okay, yeah, you are able to kill kill dudes. If I had to compare it to a shine spark of another Metroid game, it'd be like Dreads. I hate the shine spark puzzles in Dread. That's kind of what we got here. I am so effing bad at them. <laughs> like, I know they give me the answer plain as day. It's like, this is what you have to do, and I just... I just turned stupid. Is it that you can't, or is that you don't? It's also possible I'm overthinking some of the puzzles. Because one of the ones that stumped me, I watched somebody else do it, and they did it completely differently. So I, I guess I'm just getting it wrong. Maybe I'm not understanding that while you're running, if you keep the Shine Spark, you can... Or as you're running, if you do a space jump, you can jump around and keep the Shine Spark, like, destroy block powers. Yeah. I didn't know that. I do now, but I'm I'm done with there the is, Metroid Dread. There there is a uh, upgrade here where you can you have to do a shine not a shine maybe a shine spark a little, little bit of a shine spark, but uh, you gotta basically speed up, run on this ramp and then jump and space jump over this area and break some blocks and get something. Hmm. So if you if you played Fusion and done all the shine spark in there, the ones in Dread shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be that uh, hard. To do, do they get complex in this one? Um. <laughs> hmm. I always like hearing that because I know the answer is yeah. Uh. You can get a little complex. It's about, it's about on the same level as as Metroid Dreads. You know, tough, challenging, a little kind of mm on a, on some of them, but nothing undoable. Like, for instance, I didn't have to use save, uh, save states for this playthrough. Oh. Now, if you want to get the secret message, which we will get to, yes. That is impossible. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking impossible, and I'm not kidding. Well, it's for the best of players. Like, the ones who obsess over Metroid. Yeah, the ones who are the, are the best Metroid players, and the ones that have twice the patience I do. Patience also helps. By the way, why do we have a fire sector? No, it's for lava and stuff. Why do we need lava on our space station? Well, we need to have put the heat somewhere. So, X aren't here yet. Oh, cool. Don't let him in. 
We gotta find the security room here and open up the level two hatches, though. Which uh, I, I, I don't know. Don't think that's the best idea. <laughs> we, we put the level two locks in the fireplace. I kind of like the context of these locks. Like, you know, level one locks, okay, you can't get into the other sections. Level two locks, okay, you can't get into the other two sections. Level three, level three isn't really used too much, but level four, that's what they really want. That's what they really don't want you to see. You go behind a red door, that's something they do not want you to see. I like it. Let's do it. Break down those level four locked doors. Well, we gotta get the level two and three first. Oh, we need to learn how to count first? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's fine. I'm having fun. We're having a grand old time here in the Metroid Fusion. Yeah, having a grand old time while everything is just is uh, burning around it's us. It's a grand old time. Yeah, yeah. It's perfectly fine. I just realized you have like five E tanks and 110 missiles. Yep. I blinked. We are looking good. It's sitting pretty right now. Matter of fact, we're gonna open up the level two locks right now. Oh, is that easy? <laughs> that easy. Well, all right. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you gonna see there? You, you, you want a shine spark puzzle? Huh? Okay, here we go. And here's your puzzle. Basically, just do one of these. Help! Jump for oh. Here we go. Gets us through there. There we go. Do the slopes slow you down? Uh, no. Okay. They work just like Zero Mission, where if you uh, shine spark at a ledge, and you can run up it and basically get control again. Just like Dreads, too. And I assume Super Metroid, maybe. Oh no, oh no, oh. Yep. Something here, though. Uh, there's a there's a digger monster. Yes, but there's something else here. Oh, hey! It's these things from Super Metroid. Yes. They back. now have jet boosters in their feet. They're, they're back and they're infected with X. X body spray. <laughs> Take over your entire date. X body spray. That would be awful. You just you get like a cologne and it's just an X parasite comes out. What the hell? <laughs> I'm here for my date. <laughs> Lawsuits up the ass. Because yeah, you know the X never do any. <laughs> That's why they try to possess humans. <laughs> well, if I can't date one, I'll just become one, I guess. Can we get down tonight? <laughs> uh, all right, uh, this, is, this room I probably hate the most. Because ah. what you gotta do is you gotta shoot this, run over here, get a running start, come through here, and then go through here. That's the only way to get through this 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 room. Interesting. We have to, we have to, we have to come back here a couple times. Every time we do, we have to open up that latch, go through that latch, Run over, and down here, it's just it's all, it's a whole big song and dance. It's ridiculous. That's a power bomb we don't have yet, obviously. We have, our bombs have no power behind them. Oh! It's another guy I love. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> he's, he, he's just a great guy. Because he's so power! Well, he's, he's powerful, he's, he's, he's pretty wholesome, it's just, I don't know, I like the guy. Oh, he, he never done me wrong. There was a, uh, there was a couple I used to serve at the private club we used to work at. They got litigation all the time? No. You've been served. Uh, great. Oh, anyway. Man. Uh, they were actually security for Arnold whenever he comes to his weightlifting competition. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the, uh, the gentleman was telling the story, and he's like, yeah, I got into the, got into the car with Arnold, and... He just looks at me and he goes, "You smoke cigars?" I said, "Yes, sir, I do." And he pulls out a couple Cubans out of his, <laughs> out of his, out of his jacket uh, pocket. Uh, he, uh, he's that's... like, and he's like, uh, "Sir, these are Cubans." And he's like, "I know. Enjoy." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, that's pretty cool. That's so cool. <laughs> I always love that video though. That uh, it, it, this is like a few years ago. He got drop kicked by this one guy. What? Yeah. He's, he's, what? He's, he's, he just had one of those, uh, uh, one of those things. He's just, you know, sitting around talking to people, and some guy just runs up and just <gasps> oh, right! drop kicks him in the back. I do remember that. And it didn't do nothing to him. <laughs> didn't even flinch, didn't even move. He's like, did something hit me in the box? <laughs> Excuse me, ow. 
<laughs> guys, guys, like in his mid seventies, and he just takes a kick like that. It's like, oh, did 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 some small animal run into me? I believe I hear a mosquito bite. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to look that up. <laughs> that sounds so fucking awesome. Uh, oh, I know it's great. <laughs> uh, he's, 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 you know, I, I love his acting too. He's just there's there's a few movies I don't think I would enjoy, but well, it's, everyone everyone's got those stinkers. But most of his movies I like. I, lo I love him in a lot of his movies. I will action and comedy both. I will defend Jingle all the way because no matter how many problems I have with it, I watch it every year. What problems could there be? I think it's I think it's a fine movie. I do like the like how the entire plot progresses. It's like we go from damn it, I can't get the Turbo Man to a bomb and an entire warehouse filled with deadly Santas. I was like that's hilarious. Yeah, so what's the problem? Save the entertainer, maybe? I guess, but, you know, he's not that bad. You know, I'm gonna have to watch oh, wait, it that again. Was, that was Sinbad, not Cedric the Entertainer. No, 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 yeah, Sinbad. Sorry, I didn't mean to just to besmirch you like that, Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> I meant to besmirch Sinbad. Oh, we got super missiles now, which means that we can hit things harder. And, and whenever you fire the missiles, it has this nice, you know, sound. Just really sexy crunch that sounds good. Missiles. Oh, yeah. We're, I think we get, like, 250. I kind of like that you mentioned, you know, the crunch of the missile hitting its target. That's just the sound chip going, ah! Oh, but it's beautiful. It just, ah! just sounds really good from the Game Boy speaker. Uh-oh. Oh, we're about to face that thing's been fucking things up in here. Oh, I love it. Is it the thing with power bombs? Nope. Oh, let's see. I, I have to see how it attacks. Ah! Uh, oh, it's a security robot. The security robots blowing this shit up? An X-Parasite infected the biological aspects of this security robot. Oh, that makes sense. Which, it's, I guess, you know, yeah, they had like a brain or whatever, oh, they do it sometimes. What the fuck ever? That's a terrible attack! And he fires... It, that, that's not too bad, all you gotta do is just stay above the bomb when he drops it. Why? I mean... When then you're would safe. you need this? Then you're safe. When would you need this in a defensive, like, scenario? I don't know, it didn't do much good for right now, did it? No! <laughs> just... I'm just thinking it's like, oh hey, a, a raccoon got in. S send out the drone with the pillars of fire. <laughs> he basically Dracula's you. Boom. By the way, what a throwaway boss. You think that? I mean, until we we fight the X inside it, but yeah, this is just yeah. climb, avoid, climb, avoid. I think it's meant to like surprise you and like you know. Players not, not sure what to do here. Oh, a death rattle. A yeah, death rattle, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I love how you're kind of picking on it. He escaped. That, oh. What? He escaped. What? He escaped. The he, X he, retreated? He tore open a hole in the ceiling and he escaped. The X actually retreated? That's right. Oh, what a smart parasite. So, I don't know where it went, but it's fucking things up. Okay, this is cool. Uh, you learned this from the demo that plays in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. show me. So, run over here. Then, right here where the slope starts. Right, right there. Go diagonal. There you go. Oh, that's cool. A demo actually helping out? It happens sometimes. It tells you that not only can you shine spark, you can do it diagonally. And not only can you do it diagonally, you can do it here, you can do something this way. Another thing we do here, shine spark, and then hold that, and then whoosh! Oh, that was so smooth. Then do that. This leads to... God, the color, tank. color palette in this game. I can see why uh, Sakamoto wanted to wait until there were uh, advances in technology before he got to Dread. Because like I mentioned before, Dread has these very harsh shadows and dark colors. It's a very dark game. But because this is the Game Boy Advance, everything's always bright and colorful, despite the t terrible things that are happening on screen. Well, how many generations did Metroid Dread skip? Because we had GBA, which was also GameCube. Yeah, they were, they were I think they started on GBA, but they wanted it to be released on, on the DS. And they which didn't work. They tried to do that twice, I think. Both times didn't really work. It was like once in 2008 and then another time in 2011 or something like that. Both times didn't work out. And since then, the Wii came out. Then the Wii came out, then the Wii U came out. 
then the Switch came out, and then uh, they saw Mercury Steam do what they did for uh, Samus Returns, and they're like, huh. Interesting. Hey, you guys want to come over here? Maybe we can... You want to do us a favor? So there's two more sections left, and the X have probably gotten into both of them. Can't go into Sector 5, that's Sub-Zero, so we can't really do anything in there. But... So we gotta go... Just to the other sector, Sector 6. Sector 6. It's the, uh, nocturnal area where everything's dark. Welcome to Sector 6. So we gotta get the various suit. Pretty sure that's what that is. We gotta get the various suit in Sector Sector 6, so we can, uh, uh, survive in cold environments better. And, uh, you know, not get hurt so much. I mean, Ice Beam will probably still freeze us and kill us, but, uh, we can probably hang out in the refrigerator, no problem. We, we can go in the beer cave and not die. <laughs> <laughs> the beer cave sector. <laughs> I actually kind of love that. Now entering sector man cave. It's like, oh, I, just, I just need me a nice, um, nice, uh, Molson light over here and you get one of these. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I got in the beer! Shit! <laughs> Is there any beer that survived? The Natty Light, sir. No! no! The X infected my Corona. No! <laughs> incoming, uh -oh. incoming dispatch. From where? The Federation? Does Samus suspect anything? <gasps> no, no, I do not I think do so. I do not think so. Good. Monitor her closely. Affirmative. Out. Shady mm. dealings. Sh what 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 could be shady here? Shady dealings. What what kind of shady dealings could there be? I call oh, shenanigans. How can it be shady? Shady as fuck. How the hell is it shady? I mean, the X are attacking. That's about as shady as it fucking gets. You're yeah. telling me you're telling me they're doing something nefarious here? Uh, yeah. Are you kidding me? It can still happen. Fuck the Federation. That's what I'm finding out here. Federation sucks. Federation don't really know what's best for everybody, especially when the X are involved. But, you know, that's okay. Just, just deal with it as we deal with well, it. Well, I have a feeling they're just watching her going, Oh my god, she actually took the Metroid DNA. And she has X. I think the Federation's thinking we can still somehow salvage this base. We can weaponize it. <laughs> hey, look at that Samus Aaron. She's got DNA from the X. She's got, you know, Metroid DNA. We could weaponize this. They always gotta weaponize everything. No, 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 it's for the benefit of humankind, I swear! For no. the benefit of humankind. So check it out. This is the worst thing that could ever happen. The X fused with the cold! The X are, have fused with the cold. It's a good thing that they happened right here. Because imagine if the Metroids were there. Metroids are weak to cold. They would die. You get the cold X paras parasites. Universe is doomed. So this is the worst thing right now. The X is mutating. We gotta fucking get that various suit so we can get these blue X's. Oh my god, this is great. Shit! <laughs> How do we salvage this? So, uh, while we're going through here, yeah. there are going to be floating gigantic blue X parasites. Don't absorb them. They will hurt you instead of heal you. Now, we got five E tanks, so we're doing okay, but you, you still got to be careful. Knowing this game, they would have a harsh punishment for just to show you how mean the blue ones are. I'm going to guess it takes one whole E tank. Um, because cold is very harmful to you. I would say anywhere from a third to half an E-Tank. Maybe maybe close to one E-Tank, but not a, not a whole E-Tank. They're, they're in there. The the rate for... The, the margin of error that you have for the cold X... You, you, can, you can mess up and still be okay, but... You know, you can't hit every single one of them. Right. Here's another E-Tank in case you need some help. Will we need help, though? They'll be fine. Okay. There are a few places that... Oh, yeah, definitely don't go that way. There's one room, I think, that has, like, what, seven blue X parasites? <laughs> it's like, oh, not that way! Nope, you, nope, you nope. don't want to go uh -uh. in here. Uh-uh, nope, uh-uh. <laughs> the blue X just start flexing their muscles, and it's like, you don't want to be here. Ah. You can shoot them, though, and that keeps them in place for a little bit, long enough for you to escape them. Oh, that's good. That's like, what, three seconds? So you're not entirely defenseless. Just imagine they're like the Metroids in Torion, but you don't have the Ice Beam or missiles to defeat them, so you just gotta run by. Yeah, you go through there, there's like <laughs> seven, there's like seven right there. It's like, hello, and I'm like, goodbye. <laughs> ah, good day. Ah, there is a, there's one in there. 70. So, so yeah, it takes 70 damage. 
if, if you're uh, running low on E tanks, I haven't gotten every single one of them yet. Ah, well, yeah, well. So yeah, the margin of error is pretty high, but you don't want to hit every single one of them. Oh. If, you, if you miss a good amount, you'll be okay, and there's a way to recharge your energy after the end of this ordeal. Okay, so I just thought of how it would feel to, fuck, uh, fuck, ah, fuck, to, fuck. to absorb one of these cold X. Have you ever had, like, a chest freeze? Uh, like you drink something so cold so quickly it just hurts your chest? I'm thinking it feels like what those brisk tea commercials always think their tea tastes like on a hot day. Turns you into a snowman now. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Another E-Tank, so it, uh, I think this is basically the end. So if you didn't find that other E-Tank, this one is an unmissable one, so you're good in terms of health now. You're good to keep going. Oh, I know this place. You do? Oh, yes. Power bomb. Oh my god. This is iconic. Uh -oh. This one room. Yep, this one room here. Like, okay, because... I guess I better go back here and up. Oh, look who showed up! It's Sax! Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? Boy, 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 I'm being a ball. No. That's no, perfect. No, oh, god, no, oh god, no, oh god, no, oh god! No! Whoa, that was scary. You okay? Wow, hey! That was that was rude! How please, dare you? That was don't, fucking please rude! Please don't, please don't. Oh my god, she's What are you doing? Already. No! Oh, hi there. No, 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 no! Get out, get out, get out! <laughs> wow, SAX just got confused there for a second. Trolling the SAX is very fun to do if you know what you're doing. But this is the horror that I think they wanted to to have in dread. Ow. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of these things over here. You know, there's a missile over there. You gotta wait to get the various here first. Yeah, they're, they're hiding. Yeah. That's very clever. Because as you're running from SAX, panicked, and all of a sudden you're jumping into a blue X that's just like, oh, hey. The first thing you said about this game is that it was short. It may be short, but look at all these great ideas they have. Are you kidding me? They're attacking the data rooms now! Oh god! They're attacking the data rooms! <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me! I am data room three. It stole my various suit technology! Well, kill it! Ah! Kill it and get it back! I didn't have time to mutate, so it's just a big, gigantic X core. Alright, cool, kill it! I'm trying! It's big! Ah! By the way, I think you just glossed over that you have super missiles, don't you? Yes. Char and charge beam works best on this guy, though. So, how do you use them? I, I missed that. Do, 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 just part of your missiles now. You saw how it took one missile to defeat that eye door instead of three? Oh, they're just upgraded. They're just all super missiles now. Oh, that's fucking sweet! Just like Dread, and I think Other oh, M does that too. Oh, Maybe. What great ideas! No! You really tell uh, how much Other M wanted to be like Fusion. I mean, Bottle Ship is basically the same thing as the BSL lab. But that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. Oh, good. That was a solid hit. Okay, another, another good one. Solid hit. Keep it going. Keep it going. Ah! Hey, you did it. Then now becomes the X core. Comes a regular X core. Ow! 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 I bet if we would have given it enough time, it would have transformed to something horrible, like I love the fact that, or that something. you caught it changing. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing. Bye. <laughs> it's like the old Bugs Bunny. Turn out that line. <laughs> Hey, and various suits. Yes. Survive extreme temperatures. Extreme! Woo! Well, well, well. Show me those colors. Zoop. Uh oh. It looks like my skin's taken off. <laughs> looks like Ralph. Still a nice, uh, nice colors though, and data rooms destroyed. I mean, I, can't I guess. Can't believe they did that. They blew up the data room. Who does that? Well, the X. That was a targeted assault on my data. It proves how smart they are. Then we can take these guys, no problem. Mm, delicious gun they will, they, will run, they will actively run away from us now because they know that we can absorb them. Wow, they are smart. Because because we destroyed that one X core that had the various suit, the rest of the Xs know, oh shit, she can now survive cold. So the blue X parasites are like, oh shit, we're out of here. That's why the X parasites run away. Some of them jump straight into you. I guess they didn't get the memo that you're dangerous. Or they think that I'm someone to absorb. Maybe they think I'm the SAX, who knows? And then some of them are just like, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, see, they are still trying to attack you. Those guys, hmm. stupid, they didn't get the memo. 
It's just nice how a lot of the gameplay uh, aspects of this have story reasons for it. And just moments like that are, that are great. It just feels like this game's a bit more dynamic than Super Metroid was. Not that Super Metroid wasn't great. Well, it had a bit more to work with, I think. True? Because the GBA only has slightly more power than the Super Nintendo. In some aspects. In some aspects, yeah. Like, yeah, they, they have more data for sound, but the sound chip sucks, so... Well, I will say that's why we had a lot of Super Nintendo games ported over to the GBA. With, you know, slight improvements, yeah. like but all the Mario Brothers games but now you're Mario All Stars. Now you're telling me that the, that the 3DS can't do Super Nintendo games, but the new 3DS can? Really? Seriously? Come on. Come oh, on. is that what happened? Yeah. If you, want, if you want to play Super Nintendo games on your 3DS, it has to be new. Which makes no sense. No, it doesn't. Zero sense. That's why I'm glad I have the Wii U. The one good thing I have about the Wii U. That's so why I'm glad I have the Switch. Because <laughs> every Super Nintendo game I care about is on there now. I guess the only reason I have the Wii U is to play GBA games. That's how we're doing this. And some DS games. Alright. That'll do it for now. What what else could go wrong? No, don't say that. I'm sure a lot could go wrong. Well, yeah, that's yeah, the whole point. It is the whole point. Well, uh, we'll reflect on that for a bit. And we'll see you next time on Metroid Fusion.